All right, here's another quick update. So uh, I think I might have shown these in the last uh, video, but we got another large order for them. Um, so they go to a winery here where they can their products. Uh, so yep, got a full roll going here, 2,800 labels. I uh, have it working on the automatic roll, so it should pick up uh, pretty soon here. It's cool because the bottom rail, once it goes down far enough, it'll automatically rotate uh, the spool or spindle to take up the excess somewhere in the middle of the travel. It swings down and it swings to the top. So if it gets too close to the top, there it goes, it will unwind for when the machine sucks back some of the material. When it gets too close to the bottom, it will wind it up. And you could do one way or you could set it to the other way by switching here. So if I wanted to do it from the back side over, print side down, I could click one and it will reverse it. Um, cool thing is you don't need to have that set before you uh, run your printer or anything. A little bit of dust, I was wiping down the glass and <laughs> it uh, got some dust on there. But you can see here, so uh, I'm on 18 pass, which is the max resolution, 1200 by 1200. Um, and it's really cool because it has light cyan and light magenta and those are staggered to the very back. Uh, so it just gets a beautiful mix of color. Um, you can see it's nice and thick on there, has a good shine to it. And then once it comes past the heater, it uh, solidifies and, and just has a good scratch uh, resistance. It doesn't fade, it doesn't smear, nothing. So uh, these are the finished product after they've been cut. What I do is I kiss cut them and then they are now popped out and then I can send them to the customer like that. Uh, this is the machine. We ended up being able to put them side by side, which is perfect because I have the 220 behind there. I have two individual 20 amp uh, 110s. And then I have the GraphTech here, which doesn't need that much power, but I use that for the heat press and everything. I would like to have them move over there to the back side at one point. But um, yeah, so we got the one computer here for designing which was the original macbook and then we now have the other computer which was in the last video i believe our packing station it's just a uh, poly bag rolls uh, my dog toy <laughs> but uh, the poly bag uh, rolls here and you can uh, crimp them to any size you want the shipping outgoing and then now we have our uh, shipping station here with the computer it just instantly uh, makes it way way easier and the workflow a lot better um, yeah so uh, our extra rolls of vinyl we have a matte finish and then another one's actually matte finish as well but it's a better quality by 3m so we go through about a 54 inch roll by 150 foot a week um, this month will probably be five or six rolls uh, so we're just gonna order ahead usually we have one or two on hand um, the machine prints pretty fast. I'm really happy with it. Uh, the inks, since we bought it, we've gone through, I think, 3,000 linear feet of uh, substrate, and uh, we're still at good uh, capacity here. We haven't had to replace any of them. Um, really, really nice design with how the menus lay out and everything. Um, and uh, yeah, so. All right, leave comments, questions down below. As always, I'll try to answer any questions you guys have, um, and uh, I'll catch you in the next video.